welcome to Funky Palms. I'm Kathy, and today we're making a watermelon. So we're starting with 40 wraps of the red yarn, and you want to just make sure those are nice and even around the pom pom maker. I'm using my second smallest pom pom maker. And yeah, don't be afraid to push it back over so it's nice and even, like as you're going. I know sometimes I go a bit quick and it's a bit too spread out so I have to push it back, which is totally fine. Um, and then also sometimes it'll cross over, so I'll try to like unpick if it crosses over so there's not like bunches of it, you know, so it's really nice and even. And just keep wrapping until that's all covered up. So now we are putting on three to four separate wraps of the black yarn, which will make up the seeds. So just make sure they are kind of spaced around and not really touching too much because you want them to come out looking like seeds. Because I pre-cut mine, some of them were a little bit short, but that's fine. I don't often actually tie them off anyway, which you can do, and it's probably recommended just to make sure they're very secure. But because I'm going to go back over them with the red yarn, they're kind of pretty much going to stay in place anyway, so I'm not too particular about it. But obviously if you want to tie them off, just make sure you have enough yarn spare that you can actually make a little knot at the top and now we move on to the second layer of the red yarn and we're doing 40 wraps again so nice and even around 40 times and it's actually quite therapeutic isn't it <laughs> even watching that it's quite nice um i do have to say sorry about my music in the background because i sped the video up a little bit it is just like a jumble <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Kendrick Lamar, but it just sounds like gibberish. But okay, so yeah, we finished that. And now we're doing three to four more of the black wraps of the yarn. You can see I didn't quite measure it out properly, so I cut a piece and got an extra wrap in, which is all good. And again, just kind of messily wrapping those around, spacing them out to make them look like the seeds. So now we have another, probably about 60 to 70 wraps of the red yarn. So until it's completely full, you want it to be nice and chunky. So now we start on the second side, which is the skin of the watermelon, and we're doing 30 wraps of the green, nice and spaced out all the way to the edges. Although you can see I didn't quite go to the edge on that side, which is not good. Uh, and now we do 21 wraps of the black, and these ones are not all the way to the edges. So just be aware of that. So we still want to wrap them really nice and evenly together, but we will leave probably about three to four wraps worth of space at each edge, just so that it's not touching the edge. This time definitely take the green to the edges and we're going to do 40 wraps of the green. Nice and evenly around. And 
and we just keep wrapping and it really is like a visual ASMR isn't it when it wraps on so smoothly <laughs> it's just so satisfying to watch <laughs> okay so we're almost finished that one wrap it until the end and then back to the black and that's going to be 21 wraps again and again not all the way to the edge and now we're going back in with the green and this one is about 30 wraps because we need to leave space for the white so I'd say about 30. You might be tempted to do more, but if you do more of that one, you probably won't fit all the white on. So then we're doing 25 wraps of the white approximately or until it's full. So just make sure it's nice and chunky again. And with the white also, you want to just make sure it's really evenly spread out. It's kind of obvious at the end because it's supposed to be like the rind. If it has a bit of overlap even, it's quite obvious. Obviously you can kind of move it around a bit, but you'll see my one at the end. It has a bit where it's a bit bulky, the white uh, yarn. So yeah, just try to space it out as much as possible. And then we close it up. And then it's time to cut. So cut it nice and evenly in the middle. And again, I have super chunky scissors, but if you have the pom-pom scissors or really any small sharp scissors or even large ones, I mean, they still work. But yeah, any sharp scissors is perfect for this. Particularly if they're small because it just gets into the gaps a little bit easier, but they all do the job in the end. So now that we've got it cut, I do one really tight uh, wrap and I usually face it to the front of the fruit and then I take it around to the back of the fruit like where the skin is and I do two uh, really tight knots to really hold it in place. And here I'm using yarn and if you get my Funky Poms box on Etsy uh, I will give you yarn to use but I also recommend using can even use like cotton thread, probably a couple of strands just so it's a bit uh, stronger or even like a fishing line so it's you have it hanging but it's kind of clear and it's kind of like it's just levitating which is quite fun and looks quite nice I like the effect that gives as well and I like to put some paper underneath just to make the clean up a little bit easier after I've cut it You can just fluff it out and now it's time to cut. So you want to find the center, see where I just pointed, kind of find the center area and then just, especially with the watermelon, start chopping kind of diagonally so it's going to end up, you can really aim to make it into like a triangle shape if you want, so like three or like a pyramid even, three or four like very straight edged sides, um, which looks nice, or you can just make it into like a cone shape which is also good for a watermelon maybe a little bit easier um, than having the straight edges and does anyone else like the sound of the scissors cutting i find it quite nice it's almost a bit asmr as well <laughs> Uh, I'm sure some people hate it. I know I hate like the sound of ice scraping. That's like my one thing that I can't stand, but I quite like the scissors. It's very soothing. So before I mention that my, the white yarn, the rind part was a little bit too crowded and you can see that here so I just kind of moved it around 
and it's not too difficult to move around actually. And also I feel like with the pom-poms, they're just so cute and charming, so even if it's not perfect, it just never bothers me. I think they're just so cute anyway. <laughs> but obviously if you want it perfect, just be a bit more precise when you're uh, putting it on to make sure there's no overcrowding. You can see the black lines have come through on the skin, which is really nice. So I just make that a bit more rounded than the top. So I can see there's a little bit here sticking out that I can just fix that up a little bit. So just taking very small little snips so I don't take too much at this point. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I cannot wait to see your end results. Please do show me photos, send them to me, email, upload them on Etsy, on YouTube, because I would love to see them.